the headlines today, there are reports out of Ukraine that at least three Americans are fighting, who were fighting alongside Ukrainian troops, may have been captured by Russia. The State Department says it's aware of the situation. Meanwhile, President Biden is reiterating his warning to Americans to not travel to Ukraine. ABC's Jay O'Brien reports from Washington. New images circulating on Russian media appearing to show two Americans who were fighting alongside Ukrainian forces now in Russian custody. We have a contact at the State Department. He is aware of the photo and they are working to verify it. The two Americans, former Army Staff Sergeant Alex Drukey and former Marine Andy Quinn, went missing outside of the Ukrainian city of Kharkiv days ago. Quinn's fiance speaking with Good Morning America. He couldn't sit idly by, he couldn't eat, he couldn't sleep knowing that the people over there were suffering. And now the State Department revealing it's looking into reports of a third missing American who was fighting with Ukrainian troops. Concerns he may also have been captured. Our understanding was that uh, this individual had uh, traveled to Ukraine to uh, to take up arms. But as Russia's military gains ground in Ukraine's eastern Donbass region, the Biden administration repeating its warnings to Americans not to travel to the region. There are many uh, individuals in this country uh, who are well-intentioned and who want to do everything they can uh, to help the people of Ukraine. There are avenues and ways uh, to channel that energy. And Friday, President Biden echoing those concerns. We don't know where they are, but I want to reiterate, Americans should not be going to Ukraine now. On Friday, in a show of support for Ukraine and its war against Russia, the European Union recommended putting that country on a path to EU membership. But that process could take years or even decades. Jay O'Brien, ABC News, Washington.